metaphors for the next group. So we're just going to go up and I'm going to introduce the Crocodile's Dilemma. <laughs> at the most holy of holy times. It's 420, baby. Uh, we're going to do an improvised soap opera. To do that, uh, someone make up a name of a soap opera you'd want to see now. The, the last, the, the last ripper. Someone be louder, go. The last dude ranch. The last dude ranch. The last dude ranch. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Simon Shoemaker, and I'm an aspiring filmmaker and uh, professional dog walker. Today we're going to be uh, showing uh, the most recent version of my upcoming uh, feature soap opera, The Last Dude Ranch. It features a cast of characters uh, really enjoying some of the last remaining days of the classic American West. We're in a small town where there's rip-roar and fun, and a good bit of whiskey. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, gee, Dad, I can't wait to go to the fair today. It's going to be a good time, kid, but you got to remember, mm -hmm. we're the Smiths. <laughs> I know we're the Smiths. Do you not think I don't know we're the Smiths? I got to tell you something, Sonny. When I see you out, Sometimes you forget you're a Smith. You act like a Jones, you act like a Miller. I don't want to be a Jones or a Miller. I'm a Smith. Okay, but when we interact, you better really show what you're made of. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. I hear there's a family of Smiths coming around to Knock snow? Yeah. Oh, howdy! Oh, well, welcome to my little town. I'm proprietor Joe. They're proprietor Joe. Oh, you know, you ain't the only Smith family that been around here. Dad, step aside, Dad. sonny. Dad, Dad. Oh, call that dog. I ain't trying to cause no comeuppance now, you see. I just... I'm just trying to let you know that there's some mighty fine smiths in these parts. Proprietor Joe, was it? Yes, Proprietor Joe. Proprietor Joe, I think we're pretty much the only smiths out here in the Old West. And you're really going to have to prove otherwise for me to believe you. Well, now, Mr. Smith, let me tell you, I've been the proprietor around these parts for seven or ten years, and I can tell you... I've seen Smiths, I've seen Joneses, and I've seen Harriets too. And let me tell you, they all the same as the last. That's it. My perspective bonds couldn't take that swing. This is time you act like a Smith, Sonny. All right. no. Show them what you got. Boom, 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 Good boom, 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 The Last Dude Ranch is brought to you by our friends at Cowboys Forgotten. <laughs> Cowboys Forgotten is a memorial service for those that we've lost in terrible accidents, such as... <laughs> Honey, I did it to you again. I'm very sorry for having inadvertently killed you. Outright murders. <laughs> oh, look, it's sharp. Why, thank you. Thomas, I'm ready for our adventure today. Oh, yeah, I'm, so am I, Frank. And so is my dog. <laughs> Garf. Thomas, Goff, seem 
seems like a beautiful fellow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he got into some paint earlier. And he hasn't been the same since. Oh. oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thomas. Yeah. It's not a customary from where I'm from. Yeah, yeah. To give your potch dog water. It, he's just a dog. He's fine. <laughs> he He looks like a sturdy boy, but he looks Whoa! unwell, they would say. <laughs> he's just doing it for attention. It's fine. He ate a cactus one time. He was totally fine. Okay, Thomas, I mean, I, I signed up for yeah. your adventure service because you're recommended because of your attention to detail, but I, I must say this does cause me some bit of concern. Well, I, I, I see that, but look at him. With his patches of hair, <gasps> his one working eye. He can survive anything. Thomas, your, your flyer shows a dog that's fully healthy and, and ready to stealth off wolves and other creatures of the West. Uh, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, but this is better. See? Look, oh. look. You don't have to feed it that much. Uh, it could die any moment, which is exciting. Thomas, it, it also showed you have like 12 horses. You told me we're gonna walk. Uh, I don't oh, have. All right, I'm rip roar ready to go. We about to go get them wolves, right? This is my wife, Teresa. Hi. Hi. Nice, nice to meet you. What's this piece of shit? Uh, it's my dog. <laughs> so we're just gonna leave them, right? Uh, Teresa, Teresa's my negotiator in these matters. Um, You're not invited anymore because your dog's a liability. It's my goal. I see. It's my goal. I, I found it. We need to go get it. Uh, you know what? Yeah. I'm gonna need a moment with my husband. I'm gonna need a moment with my dog. <laughs> uh, our, our fortune is almost gone. We kind of do need to strike it rich here in the U.S. That's why I think that they will be a liability, as previously mentioned. Honey, I, I, I generally want to go with you, but like we are. Broke. Like we are out of money. Like we spent our last cent to get here. So you're telling me. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You're telling me okay. that huh? if we bring along this this mess that's happening here behind me, you think we have a greater likelihood of finding the gold? Honey, I. There we go. The brochure doesn't lie. Uh, guys. <laughs> You might notice something new. I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling very uncomfortable oh, by honey. what's happening around my leather regions. Honey, this is just like the brochure said. This is perfect. <laughs> the last uh, dude ranch is brought to you by um, horseshoes and hand grenades. Hand grenades. Horseshoes and hand grenades. Hey, honey, did we get our horseshoes and hand grenade box yet? Yes, we did. It's right oh, here. Oh, I wonder which ones it is this time. Such an exciting game. We don't know. Oh, horseshoes. Oh, okay. Add it to the stack. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, horseshoes and hand grenades. Girls. Miss Sandy. I can't wait to teach you what me as Miss Sandy has been doing for years at the boudoir. Oh. The boudoir? The boudoir. My mother always told me not to speak no French words. <laughs> <laughs> we serve brioche bread at the t <laughs> Bouge boudoir. boudoir. What else brioche is there beyond bread. just brioche? Well, I've got some beige bread. Oh, it's, oh. it's brioche. Sorry? Brioche. Brioche. Miss <laughs> Sandy, I feel like you're leading us astray. Um, I didn't hire the staff that performs, or that serves at the boudoir. I'm just worried about the entertainment. So is the main thing we do serve bread? No, no, we dance. Well, I don't know what boudoir means. Like I said, my mom always told me not to speak no French words. Well, you're eyeing up that brioche, so. It's like a raised loaf. Girl, that looks 
so good. It does look quite good. Mm. It's from France. They make the best bread. Girls, this isn't yes. about the bread. It's See, it. in a boudoir, you dance, you dress provocatively, mm. and you make money. Wait, can you show me how to make that bread? Girls! It's really good bread. I never had the bread like this. It's like butter on top. We can only afford the bread if we make the bread. Mm -hmm. The money bread. You this bread it? is so good. So how much do we sell it for then if we're if we're trying to make money from the bread? Excuse me. Is the bread show going to start soon? Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Your girls is. did. Mm. That's it. Mm. <laughs> so would you like some bread? Yeah. Wait. Oh my gosh. Just have one piece. One piece. And what, it, what is this called? Brioche. 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 You young people and your big ideas about bread. Would you like to try my baguette? <laughs> Have you ever had brioche? <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, thank you very much. This book of... I mean, I ate half of it already. I hope that's okay. Oh, it, it, it makes it even more appealing to me. This, this book of Loaves Uncovered is, is quite beautiful. So does that mean you're a regular here? Um, I, I try to blend into the back of, of the establishment to just absorb what is beautiful about the place, the, the various loaves and... Well, I just got hired and I don't really know what I'm doing yet, so since you're a regular, maybe you could help me out? Am I supposed to just give you bread or...? Um, normally they recommend that the women not talk to me. <laughs> oh. they, they say that I'm... I'm not good for business, but I, I find that I'm, I'm very observant and, and I can tell you a lot of things about bread. Oh. They also told us you should bring a buddy every time you talk to a customer. For example, French bread has 170 calories per slice. Is that something you are aware of? Uh, no. I don't Did you know no. that sourdough bread is made from this much honey? I don't, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Should we just dance? I was just about to get into very important I, facts about wheat bread, if you'd like to hear. I, no, I, I think I think we should just take, we should, maybe we should dance. We should dance. Did you hear about the new sheriff? Oh, tell me more. <laughs> He's very handsome. Really? And little depressed. I'll be back tomorrow. Uh-oh. Yeah. Craig, what do you what do you mean by that? Well, his dog ran off with his wife, which is oh, weird. Oh shit, not again. Yeah. Now, here he is now. This is a guy. Yeah. What's his Look name? At him. Sheriff. Sheriff Mancy. <laughs> uh Sheriff Mancy. Someone calling by name. <laughs> uh Sh Sheriff Nancy, I'm Ted, this is Craig. We're regulars here. I yeah. uh, heard you were new. May I shake your hand, sir? Sure. Uh, Nancy, was it? Oh, that's your name. Oh, right. Craig. <laughs> Craig. Yeah, Craig. Uh, welcome to town. Uh, oh, no, we, you're new. We've been here. Yeah, we've been here. <laughs> right, yes. Uh, so, what, what brings you to our town? Well, I drove, I rolled in like an old tumbleweed and trying to uh, clean up this town. <laughs> I have a, I have a problem. The Johnson oh. boys came to my farm oh. and just murdered all my cattle. Uh, violently. Yeah. The, 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 the twins. Johnson, yeah. Ages 10 and 10. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dirty. Yes. Dirty <laughs> Same age. Same yes, age. I've had a run in with them a couple times in the past. Can you do something about it? I uh, believe me, I tried. <laughs> uh, sure. They're, they're rotten kids. Right, which is why we have mom. Yeah, and that's why you have a gun. Uh, this is just, it's full of caps. It goes pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Don't they issue you a gun when you get here? Well, though? I did, and then I, I, I shot. And, and did you lose it? No, well, I lost it uh, as a punishment, as it were, because I shot, shot the chief. Chief Rick. Chief Rick. Is, is he dead? No, he's just mad. <laughs> <laughs> Try again. I mean, I, um, but, uh, did you try talking to them in a forceful tone? I have trouble with that sometimes. Uh, yeah, uh, they uh, flicked me off and told oh! me. Yeah. yeah, and they said some bad words about you. What? Yeah. No. Oh, I have to sit down. 
Sir, another Barks, please. <laughs> less, less ice. Less so, ice. I told him you were going to fight them at, at noon. You what? Yeah, you're the you're the sheriff. You're the sheriff, man, Mister. We're here. We're here. We're here for the fight. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, please. No, 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 no. Okay. Listen. <laughs> All right. Listen, you two ten-year-olds. I've got some um, pretty choice words. Uh, okay, that's enough. <laughs> uh, but, 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 no, oh, I'm sheriff, I think you're bad. You're what? bad. Thank you. oh. Oh. About making Sheriff Nancy bang, bang, look bang, like bang, a big dum dum. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean... Excuse me. I don't like you talking to my boys like that. Oh, if you're gonna make him look silly, kill. you gotta make it real good. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Famous Johnsons I've heard about. Nope, that ain't right. Bite your tongue. Bite your tongue. Good. 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 Joe, what do you want? I, I come around on you two. I've been seeing the Smith and you've been doing around this town and it's done us a lot of good. Thank you, Thank you. finally. Damn. And you know, I gotta eat my size 10 boot for saying that you was sure another good. one of them Smiths. Then why is your computer Steve thinking we're Johnson's? <sighs> computer Steve? Computer Steve, you're the most worldly among us here in I'm I'm, I'm terribly sorry. You, you just, the way you pronounced yourself toward the stage, you, you, you stage? look like, you look like Johnson's to me. We're in an office. Me. You look like Johnson's to me. You call your workplace the stage? It is called the sheriff's stage. The what stage? The sheriff's Free. stage. What are you doing? Showing this is your a, face. This is a miller. A miller Free. works properly in like this. Cree. <laughs> what are you doing Free. here at the sheriff's stage? Cree. It's time for a final showdown. No, 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 I've seen a lot of showdowns, and it always ends up with tears and, well, Computer Steve getting pretty pissed off, and I don't want to see that today. I just don't. Com computer I'd Steve, like computer Steve does not want to be pissed off because, well, the last time that happened, we had to move out of town. Oh. What do you mean? Well, Computer Steve got very upset, and, and well, Let's just say the whole time was dynamited. The whole Are you what? You have dynamite on you right now? That's, that's a tricky whoa, part whoa, about whoa. Computer Steve. You'd think it'd be all about computers, but really it's about dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> and you're speaking in third person, I notice. Yeah, that's another tricky bit about him. <laughs> Sometimes it's just you have to do what you, your heart tells you to do. And I, I, I just want you guys to all get along, even though you look like Johnson's to me, I apologize. Oh, hell no. That's oh, no. it. Computer Steve, you're going down. Oh, wait, wait. Creep, 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 creep.